These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. Along with these leading manufacturing and dealer sponsors who will be represented throughout the course of this show. In addition to our manufacturing series sponsors, I'd like to thank these Emerald Coast 2019 feature sponsors, including Emerald Grand Resort in Destin, our event headquarters, Glassstream Power Boats from Alabama, makers of fine center console power boats. We have two of them on the run. Go On Vacation, Alocomp Business Insurance Group, Emerald Coast Convention and Visitors Bureau, TD Wall Sport Chassis Trucks, Bent Marine from Louisiana, dealers for Nortec High Performance, and DCB Racing from California. So before we get all of you guys up to speed on this episode, let's just recap from episode four, where we were down on the docks at Harborwalk Village, up close and friendly with all of our poker run teams as they picked up poker card number one. Then we got out onto the bay waters with our helicopter photo and video crew as we chased down these high performance teams heading eastbound towards checkpoint number two, which was sponsored by Coyote Ugly and featured a bevy of beautiful ladies aboard this Maritimo motor yacht named After Five. We circled back to Destin Harbor to check in on our card one handoff, then got back out onto the bay waters heading northbound to Niceville where we hit some more checkpoints. Like many of the Florida Powerwood Club's poker run events throughout the state of Florida, these poker runs feature a wide variety of performance boats from center consoles to performance V-bottoms of all descriptions, ranging from 25 to 50 feet in length. Some are stern drive, some are outboards, some are white, and some are multicolored, but you can pretty much rely on seeing every kind of performance boat imaginable here on this Emerald Coast Powerboat Week in the middle of August. Let's say hi now to Neil and Cindy Campbell, Team Bodacious 2 aboard their 42-foot Mystic, which is a center console with triple Mercury Racing 400s, an 11-foot beam, and plenty of seating and room for all your friends. This is what's making poker runs more fun for so many people that these center consoles give so much space and they still have the performance so you can get out, get some wind in your hair, and enjoy the performance of these Mercury Racing outboards. These guys are getting a bird's eye view from this Timberview R44 Robinson helicopter. That's Ryan uh, Christian on the right, uh, shooting video. In the front seat is Jimmy Stewart, our new still photographer for the weekend. And we saw some of this team in our last show, Larry and Heather Montalero from Louisiana, 33-foot fountain called Smoke Show, and we'd consider them to be veterans here. They've done this event four times in the last five years. There's a wide variety of cigarettes registered on this Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. But among the oldest is West Harlow's 2000 model year, 38 Top Gun. He just got it. It's the same year as the Project 1080. And another seasoned veteran, Vu Win, in his 38-foot Donzi ZR. Over the last decade, he's done this event at least seven or eight times. Nice to see Vu and his crew return year after year. Now watch closely as Vu hits the throttles and starts throwing this massive rooster tail from his stern. Miami-based Deep Impact traveled 700 miles to attend the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. This is one of two boats they brought, the 399, which is their flagship center console. Anyone who follows the poker run scene would know by now that MTI has had a tremendous amount of success in poker runs because they build boats that are poker run friendly. But this 34 MTI cap model has been wildly popular since it came out just a year earlier. I can't believe how many of these I see on poker runs all over Florida and around the nation. Craig and Paula Ackerman are enjoying their first weekend on their new 34 MTI, which is powered by Mercury Racing 400Rs, but they tell me they've ordered a new set of the 450Rs, which they're gonna get real soon. Well, if you follow the Florida Powerboat Club scene, you would see fireboats and rescue teams on a lot of our events. That's because we recruit local fire departments to come out and be a part of the event. And the Niceville Fire Department has always been out here to support us. Well, the guys up here in the helicopter seem to be having a great day today. 
They look like they're ready to fall out of the helicopter, but remember they are strapped in and they're doing the best they can to capture great video and photos of today's event. And you might have noticed that the doors were off of that helicopter. That gives the video crew a much wider angle of approach as far as getting down and close so they can get these amazing money shots and video content like John Coletta's 388 slingshot called Card Hustler. Here's another cigarette. Out of the eight cigarettes registered on the run, the last one we showed you was one of the oldest one, a 2038 Top Gun. Now this is certainly the newest one, Team Instigator, owned by Mike and Susan Pasco from Georgia. It's a 2019 model cigarette 42X powered by Mercury Racing 860s. They're the naturally aspirated QC4 engines, and Mike was one of the first to receive a pair of these for a brand new cigarette. And I think the team at Nortec back in the factory in Fort Myers would be very proud to have Brad Hancock from Georgia here representing them with this Nortec 477 SPX powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. And this is probably an appropriate time for a big shout out to all of the teams that came here from Georgia. We just saw two prior, and now we've got Josh Kirkland, also from Georgia, with his Dirty Duck 42-foot cigarette Huntress. She's a big 12-foot beam cigarette center console, 20,000-pound boat that can accommodate all of your friends and maintain 60 miles per hour all day long on any poker run event. And I know that the cat lovers out there were starting to worry, well, where's all the cats? <laughs> Well, Steven and Kelly Marina here, not to let you guys down, a 35-foot DCB cat powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. And while this couple is certainly here to have fun boating, they also came here to support the event uh, with their insurance company, which is called Alicom Business Insurance Services. And of course, they're even representing the manufacturer, DCB Racing, who is making a big stride to get more DCB cats on the Eastern Poker Run circuit. We saw a little bit of this boat earlier, but I can't say enough about this couple, Mark and Eileen Fisher uh, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and their continued dedication to this sport. They have been strong supporters of the club since as far back as the year 2000, when they signed up for the club with a 29-foot power quest and went to Grand Bahama Island. Well, turn the page 20 years, and they now own two boat companies in Miami. I don't know who we awarded the best graphics to in this event, but it sure as hell should have been Steve and Lisa Young now looking at this 35-foot fountain. And congratulations to them for buying a brand new Statement Center console. This is the last time we're going to see them in this 35 fountain. And I know it's given them a lot of memorable poker runs. Who would ever have thought that uh, Eliminator Boats uh, would pull itself out of a really torrid bankruptcy and be back on the waters here. This uh, 28 Eliminator Cat powered by Twin 400Rs illustrates Eliminator's commitment to building high-quality performance catamarans. It looks like our photo team is uh, closing in on checkpoint number three, which is in Niceville, Florida, on Boggy Bayou. This is Emerald Coast Marine Center, which has really been a big part of this event over the years. Uh, they allowed us to use their dock for a checkpoint here today. Unfortunately, they were unable to participate as a sponsor for this portion of the event, but uh, they'll come back in 2020 as they made their commitment to us, and we'll just keep coming back. This is the same location we stopped off at for the Thursday Fun Run earlier in the week, and some of the local poker run teams that are here with us on this event make this marina their home port. And representing the manufacturer of Nortec High Performance Boats is Team Bent Marine from Louisiana. They've got two boats here on the run. This one, the 392 Sportfish, or Superfish as they call it. It's powered by Quad Mercury 400s. And here's a nice crew close-up of uh, Steve and Lisa Young in Team Naughty Habit, that 35 fountain we saw just a moment ago. Now, if you're wondering, uh, watching the show, and you're saying, well, how come, Stu, we keep seeing the same boats over and over again? Well, it just so happens that we're tying this in with the chopper crew who've been following the same pack of boats. So 
it tends to work out that way that when the chopper follows a pack of boats, it stays with them. So that's why we're seeing Robert and Trisha Keys again in their 28-foot eliminator. Uh, but that's sort of how it works. You know, they get a flow going and they stick with a pack of boats that all run together. The only way they could change this is if they would just break away completely and fly to another part of the poker run course, which they probably should be doing right about now. <laughs> Otherwise, this is going to be one continuous poker run with the same eight boats. <laughs> okay, this is more like it as we break that pattern of seeing the same boats over and over. <laughs> but this is Jeff Anderson and his crew from South Carolina and their 39-foot cigarette. And we told a little story earlier in the show about how Jeff and his crew came to represent and celebrate the life of their friend, the late Tony Eli. So guys, I think that was just awesome what you did and uh, I applaud you all. And some more cigarette time. Uh, this one now almost getting back to the classics with this 2004 Cigarette 46. Daryl Turner from Texas and Team Rum Runner, uh, his first poker run with the boat. He's the guy that we all know is having the four-play Nortec, that big four-engine 50-footer, but he says he's loving this Rum Runner boat. Got a great-looking crew on board. You can't see it, but they have the matching bikinis, which match the graphics of the boat, which is very cool. And our next checkpoint is uh, really close, actually, only about five or six miles from that Niceville checkpoint here in Shalimar is Two Georges Marina. Uh, and it's in a protected cove and a location that has been a part of the poker run for as long as I can remember. It used to be called Shalimar Marine Center. Now it's Two Georges Marine Center. And I'd like to thank them for being a part of this program and contributing to the official Checkpoint Sponsor Program, making a donation to this event. And making her donation to this event is one of uh, Daryl's crew members who apparently has lost her bikini top. That's what happens, girls, when the boat's going fast and you don't have a double knot on that top. You're going to lose it sooner or later. And let's say hi one more time to David Hudman and his crew on Lucky Lucy, this 43 Everglades. The first time we've had this model boat on one of our poker runs. What an amazing ride. Apologies to DJ Smith for such a short clip, but congratulations on your new Baja he purchased right after the Orange Beach Powerboat Week back in May. And I have just figured out why these two guys have positioned themselves on the dock where they have, because they are enjoying the show today. I don't think it's just about the boats, as we have lovely Andrea on the dock, a beautiful blonde, handing out the poker cards to Mike and Christy on their 38-foot cigarette team, Smoke and Gun. I know I've asked Mike this before, but I'm going to have to ask him again. Is it Fuqua or Fuque? Tomato? Tomato? You know, he's so laid back, he don't care. And here's a team that we saw in our last show, Derek and Cindy Kimbrough on their Sensation 34 CCX. And I looked in our club records, and their previous boat was an Outer Limits 37 Stiletto. And it's time to say hi to Bill and Evie Dahl again in the Buzzin' Dozen. That's Team Nasty, which is a 39-foot Sutfin. This is the same boat, by the way, I mentioned in the previous show. He's been in the club since 92, but with this very same boat since 92. So that's an accolade that Bill holds entirely on his own. And before we depart from this checkpoint, I do want to mention that uh, Two Georges Marina was a checkpoint sponsor with our program now two years in a row. And I did spend a little bit of time here one day on a quiet weekend day. We came by with the crew and took a few video shots of this marina. And it's really a unique location in so many ways. First of all, the covered slips. Well, that's just something we don't get in South Florida. So I think that's amazing. And look at how big of a boat you can put in those slips. Uh, they have uh, plenty in water docking and, of course, dry storage as well. They sell fuel here. They have a boat ramp here. And it really is a one-stop marine center, but I just like the location. It's uh, such a protected little harbor here. And from the harbor, you can go out into the uh, Choctahatchee Bay and be at Destin's East Pass in about 10 minutes. So thanks to Two Georges Marina for supporting this event for your second year in a row. And we're back out on the waterways now, catching up with Team Glassstream. Uh, this is AL and Cruz Kirkland from the Glassstream factory team. They have two boats here. This is their all-white 36, powered by triple Mercury 350 Verados. And this is what you would call an entry-level value price center console. 
you know, I think what the best feature of this boat is that it certainly performs well and has a lot of space for all your friends, but this is a $300,000 boat. Rather than having to plunk down $700,000 for a lot of these other mainstream brands, here's a sister ship, another 36, uh, with some custom paint and graphics on it, run by Robbie Eula. Notice how this one has the dual row of bolster seats, which is ideal for poker runs. To see their full line of boats, visit glassdream.com. And another sponsor team as we catch up with Bent Marine, in one of the 239 Nortec center consoles they have here. This is the more conventional uh, Poker Run Edition, the 390 Sport. This one powered by Triple Mercury 350 Verados. And this is the kind of boat you're gonna see a lot of on Florida Powerboat Club Poker Runs. I won't say that you're gonna see it with 22 people aboard, but that is a scene that we have seen before. <laughs> <laughs> on Florida Powerboat Club events. But uh, this is why you get a center console, guys, so you can bring all your friends. And just a word of caution, during our coronavirus threat, this is not how you practice social distancing. Bridge Marina has been involved in this event uh, since they built the marina about uh, oh probably going on 18 years now. I want to thank all the gang at Brooks Bridge for supporting us by getting us uh, many spots. We got about 12 boats docked here every year, floating dock marina. They've got fuel. They took care of the Project 1080, pulled us out of the water with the forklift the other day, cleaned the boat up for us. Uh, I needed the bottom cleaned up. They took care of that, stored the boat for two or three days, and I picked the boat up yesterday. We put it in the water. So. I want to thank Brooks Bridge Marina for all their help every year. It's going to be a poker run checkpoint once again for the Saturday poker run. So uh, a shout out to the gang at Brooks Bridge Marina. And now we're down dockside here at Brooks Bridge, uh, introducing our first team to be handed off a card here. Uh, and we just saw this team earlier from the helicopter. So appropriately here is Team Bent Marine in that Nortec 390 Sport Center Console. And let's welcome our FPC girl, Faith, who is in charge of handing the cards off here today. Uh, she was in a previous episode on the Friday Fun Run. She did a photo shoot on a bunch of the boats at Juana's. And, of course, she was a contestant in the Miss Power Boat Week contest on Thursday night. So if she looks familiar, well, that's exactly why. Say hi to Scott and Monica James as they pass by in their Fountain 35, Mercury Racing 525s. It's a lightning model and one that they have really enjoyed a lot uh, as the kids grew up on this boat doing poker runs here at the Emerald Coast over the last 10 years. And it's another one of our Sea Fox teams. There's two of them here. This is Mike and Tara Kimball from Georgia in their 32 Sea Fox team, Relaxin'. And here's a crew that likes to do a lot of family boating on Lake Lanier. And I know that because I joined them a couple of years ago as we ran around on the Pirates of Lanier poker run. And we're finally catching up with Mike and Melissa Fitzpatrick from Louisiana, their 35-foot statement center console. Mike joined us on this run a year earlier, and here they are back again. Uh, they stopped off here at Brooks Bridge for a little fuel and uh, getting back now out onto the waterways, heading westbound to Juana's. Now let's welcome uh, Bill and Denise Mann from Texas uh, with their crew on board this 35-foot fountain. And a very special happy birthday to their son, Reagan, who's on board. He turned 17 during this poker run. And looks like here's another team that's taking advantage of the services here at Brooks Bridge Marina. Daryl Turner in that 46-foot cigarette team rum runner. Got all his crew on board with all their matching bikinis. Uh, I don't know where you got those, Daryl, but those were great bikinis. Match the graphics of the boat. And uh, for those of you who may recall, I mentioned this earlier. This is a really classic cigarette now, a 2004 edition, which was a one-off boat. Uh, cigarette Rum Runner was powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. And at the time, I mean, it was the flagship of the cigarette fleet. And uh, I remember taking pictures of the boat and putting it on the cover of the Florida Powerboat Clubs magazine. And that was like one of the coolest covers because Cigarette reproduced it in a giant banner and hung that banner in their booth at the Miami Boat Show for years. Uh, so glad to have uh, Daryl in that beautiful Cigarette. And 
And here's crew member April showing off that new Rum Runner bikini. And of course, our Project 1080, we're the sweep boat today, the official chase boat. And that means we chase all you guys around and uh, stop at the checkpoints. And after the last poker card is handed off, we pick up another FPC girl. And that explains why we've got uh, me and Jackie have one, two, three, four other FPC girls because we've been going around to all the checkpoints and picking up the girls along the way. So as we continue westbound, well, we're just going to keep filling up the cigarettes. So, well, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's time for a bigger boat. And as we make our way more westbound on the course, this is uh, Santa Rosa Sound. We got all these video clips from our safety boat. So let's enjoy the sights and sounds of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run 2019. Okay, let's get back up in the helicopter as we chase down some more teams, starting with Bill and Evie Dahl from Illinois in this 39-foot Sutfin Team Nasty, powered by twin V12 Lamborghinis. And as I may have mentioned earlier in the show, many years of dedicated support from this team started with the club back in 1992 with this very same 39-foot Sutfin and still running strong. And now we're catching up with Derek and Cindy Kimbrough from Tennessee in this 34-foot Sensation CCX model. We saw them dockside earlier getting a car, but now it's a chance to see this boat run. And it looks like the ladies are enjoying the ride up front. And it looks like this is the same boat, the 34 CCX, Karen and Keith Rockman. And it looks like they've got their front lounge seats up and working. Uh, just look at those cool seats. The ladies get to sit right up in the bow of the boat and they just prop up that backrest so it's nice and comfortable. I don't know guys, uh, I don't think it gets much better than this if you just want to enjoy the day cruising around on this scenic Emerald Coast.
And it's time to catch up now again with David Hudman from Alabama and his 43 Everglades Team Lucky Lucy with its Tuna Tower Helm Station up top. I don't know, if I was on this boat, I'd be standing up there on the top enjoying the ride. I don't know, guys, I just think this is such a cool boat. And I know these boats are super heavy as well, so I'm sure they're great in the rough water. And really doing a good job on this rough water today. It's, what, about six-inch swell out there? <laughs> this is the biggest wave he goes over right here. It's a wake. And another big offshore center console, this Deep Impact 399. Another quad-powered big center console with an offshore pedigree, a boat that is very capable of running the deep water, rough water, all the way to the Bahamas. But we're enjoying the smooth water today. Paul Bertusi, Team Beer Money, with his whole crew on board, quad Mercury 350 Verados. And this all-white boat was a big departure for Paul. The last two boats he owned had multicolored custom paint jobs. And John and Connie family seem to be loving this 34 Sensation. They went from a Power Quest to a Baja to an Outer Limits, but this 34 Sensation seems to be suiting them perfectly. And now here's Frank and Molly Tubbs, uh, veterans of this event. They've done it many, many times. We saw them earlier dockside as they picked up their card, but here they are now catching some wind in their hair. Big thumbs up, guys, for wearing your life jackets. And a big welcome to Eric Glazer and his crew came up all the way from South Florida, actually from Miami, 700 mile trek. What a cool looking ride as they enjoy the day today. Big supporters of the Florida Powerboat Club. I wanna thank Midnight Express for enlisting the support of Florida Powerboat Club to help them organize their first annual Midnight Express Bimini Rendezvous. I urge all of you to check out that episode on YouTube. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply. And it's time to check in with Juana's Pagodas in Navarre one more time now. Of course, this was our Friday fun run destination, but today it's going to be a checkpoint and a lunch stop for the poker run event. And I noticed from this helicopter shot, it's just quite a bit different than what we saw uh, the day earlier. Because remember, making this a fun run destination, pretty much all the people who are here get a chance to pull up on the beach and enjoy that true Juana's experience. Uh, but now that it's Saturday, the teams have the option of staying here after they get their poker card and having lunch, or they can continue westbound on the course to Pensacola, and they've got two locations down there, and we'll cover that in our next episode. We've got the lovely FPC girl Jody on the docks here. She was actually involved in the event a year earlier as she attended and was a contestant in the Miss Powerboat Week contest. So she was again on this year's contest and back again helping us out on the dock. Uh, we just saw Frank and Molly Tubbs a few minutes earlier getting some aerial coverage from the helicopter. Here they are now once again up close getting their cards. And some of you guys have just become the masters of being in the right place at the right time. Uh, and getting good photo and video as Connie gives her little parade wave <laughs> in the front of their sensation as she pulls up to get her card. But it's true that a lot of teams just have a special knack of being in the right place at the right time to get excellent video coverage. Now, for those of you who are keeping count of what manufacturers are best represented here, Greg Tolson is one of eight sensations registered for the run. And out of those eight, there are only two that are performance boats so with a sport deck like this. His being, of course, the 32 with a pair of Mercury 496 HOs. Uh, a great running boat that he's had in the club for about five or six years now. The other performance, V-Bottoms of 43, and that's up against six Sensation Center consoles here today. And for those keeping track of the cigarette representation, well, they actually, they were second in line. They beat Sensation by one boat. There's a total of nine cigarettes on the run. Three of them are 38-foot models. Mike and Christy Fuquay are here and there, a 38-foot cigarette twin step. It's called Team Smoke and Gun. The other two cigarettes, well, they're old school cigarettes with straight bottoms, My Project 1080 and West Harlow's 38 cigarette Booty Shaker. And speaking of Booty Shaker, let's let Jody close off this segment as she hands off a poker card to Team Nasty, that 39-foot Sutphin. So this will wrap up episode number five with feature coverage of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week 2019 edition. And we hope you enjoyed the episode, but when we come back, we'll have episode six with our final coverage, which includes more high-speed aerials, 
our entire checkpoint down in Pensacola Beach, as well as the Saturday night party at Margaritaville and Harbor Walk Village, where we recognized all of our sponsors, handed out the President's Choice Awards to many lucky teams, and of course, played out the poker cards to try to win our seat at that final table. It was a festive evening, but the party was not over because we got out on the waterway just one more time on Sunday for a beautiful day as the helicopter caught up with a few more teams and squeezed one more day out of this Powerboat Week format before loading the boats up and heading home. It's all right here on Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get the updates when a new episode is released. And we ask you please to share these episodes with all of your boating friends. You can find out more about the club on our website at flpowerboat.com. Follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club and on these Instagram pages, including Emerald Coast Powerboat. This is Stu Jones, president of the Florida Powerboat Club. We are going to remain committed to all of our viewers as we stay in the studio. I'm working with my producer, Ryan McCoy, through these tough times where many of us are still on residential lockdown and unable to go to work. So we are committed to giving you more episodes. We're going to keep the ball rolling here from our studios by delivering as much powerboating lifestyle content as we possibly can. Key West Poker Run 2019 just around the corner, so stay tuned. And if you do get a chance to go out boating, be safe out there, and remember to always wear your life jackets. See you soon, guys. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. Along with these leading manufacturing and dealer sponsors who will be represented throughout the course of this show.